Welcome back to Crush It on Kajabi in 90 Days. This is part 10 where we're gonna talk about lead magnets. We talked about lead magnets in part eight. You can go back and watch it. In that one, we talked about how to build a lead magnet. Now I'm gonna talk about how to build a lead magnet landing page on Kajabi so that you can have a place that people can go and download your lead magnet. We talked about lead magnets being incredibly important to the process in part eight, but I'll just review it by saying this. People watch your content and you have to get them from watching your content or viewing your content or listening to your content or reading your content. You gotta get them from that to your email list. And that step happens with your lead magnet. Your lead magnet could be a number of things. In the video we did in part eight, I talked about two lead magnets I have for my Preaching Donkey brand. One is the 10 step sermon prep che checklist, it's a simple PDF. And the other one is a full 21 day guide, like a full PDF guide. Whatever you decide to do, we talked about making the PDF in part eight. And today in part 10, we're gonna talk about where do you put the lead magnet and how do you send people to a landing page that delivers it? So for that, stick around. My name's Lane. This is Crush It on Kajabi in 90 Days. This is part 10 of 90. So if you're just joining us, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Go back and check out all of the previous nine videos all about Kajabi and your online business and how you can use Kajabi to be successful in your online business. If you're thinking about jumping on Kajabi, you might as well use my link below, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. With that, you, did, you get two pretty cool things. One, you get a free 45 minute Zoom call with me where we can talk about anything related to Kajabi or your online business. I'll answer whatever questions you have and help you get a good strategy and plan for going on Kajabi. And then you also get my $25,000 course launch email template which is the exact emails and the exact email strategy that I used to launch my first course, which made over $25,000 in the first three launches. I'm gonna put both of those things into your hands for free as a way to say thank you for using my link, which is an affiliate link. So I do get a small commission when you use it, so I appreciate it very much. All right, so once you have your lead magnet built, let's talk about putting it on a landing page. Now, this is a page that I showed you in our, my last video about, about lead magnets, but this is where we're ending up, okay? So this is a very simple landing page. I like it to be very simple. Notice that a couple of things. One, there's no menu options up here. There's nowhere they can click away. No, no footer, no header, no nothing. And that is because as a landing page, I want there to be one call to action other than just you know clicking out of the page. I want it to be name and email and get the checklist to me. That's what I want. So that's why you don't see a whole lot of other things on this page. You just see get the 10 step sermon prep checklist. So by this point, by the time they land on this page, they've already heard me talk about it. They've already watched a video. That's the only way they're gonna know about this. They've watched a video with me talking about one of the elements of the checklist or some sermon prep uh, you know, tactic or strategy. And somewhere in that video, I say, hey, if you want my guide, if you want a helpful guide that lays out the 10 essential steps for writing a sermon, go to preachingdonkey.com slash checklist. And that can be yours for free. I'd love to put that in your hands. So notice that it says, when you sign up, you get free content delivered straight to your inbox. You put in the name, put in the email, send you the checklist. Now in future videos, I'll get to what happens once they click on send me the checklist because that actually takes people to a landing page that offers them a discount on one of my courses, which is pretty cool. But for today, we're not doing any of that. We're just getting this landing page. So the question is, you have your lead magnet, You've got Kajabi, you wanna know how to do this. So what you do is you go to pages, you go add new page. So under sales pages, you have a, a few options, streamlined home, gates, you know, all these streamlined sales. You can pick the one that you like. A lot of times I'll just choose one that looks like I can edit it pretty easily. You can also build a page from scratch. But if you choose a page like this, it will populate a few options. You can take some off, you can add some on. But let me show you where I landed with my landing page. The 10 step sermon prep checklist is this. Now let me go ahead and customize this page and I'll show you all that it contains. So this is a very simple kind of one page landing page and it has uh, the hero section 
which is what you see here, and that includes this text, and then this right here is the form. Now, this is so simple, what I've, what I've done here. So get the 10-step sermon prep checklist. This, by the way, is if you go up here to formats, you go to headings, it's heading one, so it's just nice and big. Then this down here is in paragraph you know, form, so it's a lot smaller. And then, uh, and that's, that's really all it says there. This background is kind of a, a blown up version of the cover of the one of my lead magnets. So it's just a kind of just a computer or laptop screen type thing. Then this right here is a form and a lot of things in Kajabi go through form. So within Kajabi, there's a kind of a system of keeping track of things. And one of those things is forms where people put in their name, their email, and whatever other points of data that you select, that you want. For you, it may be far more in depth. But for me, I typically just do name and email. And then that form, which has a name, it's the 10 step sermon prep checklist. And these are all of my forms. I got the 21 day guide form. I got the advanced coaching pre-launch form. Uh, I've got the waiting list form. So these are just ways, the Killer Sermons Academy waiting list uh, form, the preaching jumpstart form. These are forms that I have so that when I'm on a landing page, I can assign that form to any of these boxes so that when somebody fills that out, it knows what to do on the back end. So when somebody fills this form out, it goes to a landing page. And for me, it's going to be thank you for downloading um, and it's going to be 10% off. So it's thank you for downloading the lead magnet and it's the 10% off Preaching Jumpstart, which we'll talk about in just a second. Over here, I just put where should I send the checklist and then a disclaimer text. I just put when you sign up, you get free content delivered straight to your inbox. Placeholders, you know, I save all that and that is my, my landing page. So again, I do a super simple approach because I don't want it to be complicated for the end user. The goal here is simple. They watch my content. I invite them to download some kind of guide or form. They go to the landing page that I say, and I want them to say, all right, pretty simple, name, email, boom, send me the checklist. When they do that, they're automatically added to my email list and they're delivered the checklist. Now I wanna show you the forms side of it. So if you go to marketing, you got email, pipelines, automations. If you go to forms, this is where you can build your form. So that's the 10 step sermon prep checklist form. And this is super simple. This is where, if you remember, that's this thing right here. So basically this is building this name and email. It's the back end of it. So what happens here is I chose single opt-in, name, email, and then my automation is when the form is submitted, the 10-step sermon prep checklist, then subscribe to an email sequence, the 10-step sermon prep checklist. So all this is doing is I want them to be subscribed to an email sequence that I've pre-written that will deliver the lead magnet and it will send them a series of emails over a few days which will invite them to buy my course at a discount. So that's the way I do it for this lead magnet. There's other ways to do it. But for you, go ahead and get started building your first landing page for your lead magnet. In our kind of sequence and order of doing things, you gotta have that done before we can go start building out your content and your content strategy because if you don't have anywhere to send anybody, then your content's kind of wasted or at least it's not optimized like it should. We're kind of working our way backwards to make sure that we have a great lead magnet built that people want, has a good promise and delivers a quick win. And then from there, we gotta figure out, well, how are people gonna get that lead magnet? That's where the opt-in page comes in. So go to your pages, build a page, attach a form to it, and then in future videos, we're going to talk about these automations. We're gonna, ha we're gonna talk about how to set up an email sequence and all of that, and how in the email you'll actually deliver the download. So stick around for that in future parts of this video. Right now, as far as next steps, go ahead and check out Kajabi, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. You can jump on there, get my two free perks. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything. And let me know in the comments, what questions do you have? What can I bring some clarity to? This is part 10. I'll see you for part 11 tomorrow. Until then, check out this playlist right here.